Hey everybody, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to repair a in the set, also a place for Hot Point and Creda, um, washing machine that has a, um, well the error is F06 up on the screen, um, it is, um, I, I plugged the machine out since and cleared the error but it's a door lock issue okay, uh, the door is not locking and this red light is flashing, uh, I just took off the lid and looked out and the door lock is actually burnt out okay, no. This is a fairly common problem with some, some models of Indesit and Hot Point and Creed wash machines. It's actually a, it's a fault, obviously, um, and a lot of these machines are on recall. So, first of all, it'd be a good idea to look up the model number. Um, you'll find it in here of the machine and look up Google, look up um, search. Um, you know, if it's a Hot Point, you have Hot Point Recall, Hot Point Washing Machine Recall, or Indesit Washing Machine Recall, or Creed or uh, washing machine recall it's a good idea to check is your machine on recall also just out of shot there is your model number here as well on the end it's up the top right hand corner you'll probably find it maybe down the bottom right hand corner on a hot point or you'll find it somewhere or even sometimes on the back of the machine you'll see a sticker so it's a good idea to check um is your machine on recall now if it is on recall i've had lots of customers who've got me out to repair the machine because they're getting no satisfaction from the uh, manufacturer um, it's basically a temporary fix it, they kind of get a year or two older and it happens again um, it's it's um, that's all I can do with it um, because it's it's to do with the element and it's to do then with the, the, the wiring and uh, it's just a fault with the PCB it's a fault with the machine not even the PCB it's just it's they're all interconnected and uh, the end result is that the door lock is burning out, okay? So, um, I'm going to do a temporary fix on this. Um, probably get another year or two out of the machine. Um, the persons whose machine it was, they were getting no satisfaction at all. And they needed a new machine because they had four children and two adults in the house. That's why they, um, that's why they had to get a new machine fast. Um... So yeah, so then, then now I ended up, they bought one from me, and now I ended up with this. So um, anyway, I'll show you how to do a temporary fix on the machine, okay? Again, make sure you look it up, see it on the recall list, but I wouldn't be holding out hope of getting much satisfaction from the manufacturers, to be honest. Um, the whole COVID thing has people, um, it gives people an excuse to um, pawn people off. Uh, it's a disgrace, really, but that's, that's just the way it is, unfortunately. So look, I'll show you what to do here. Um, uh, first things first, very important, plug out your appliance, okay? Um, make sure it is plugged out at, at the, the wall, okay? Um, next thing you do is um, is your door seal here. Your door lock is here, okay? So what we'll do is pop off the spring around the door seal here, okay? You'll see a little bit jutting out here that you can get a flathead screwdriver in behind it, okay? See it here? And just slide it off, okay? Just comes off, okay? Put that somewhere safe. Peel the seal back in towards the machine, okay? Okay, here's your door lock. Sometimes there's screws holding the door lock in place. Sometimes it's just the tabs are, are actually into the frame, okay? This is just the tabs. So just push in them one at a time, push in the tab, pull the door lock this way, left, and then push in the other tab on the top and push it left. Pull it in, uh, pull it in, in towards the machine. And it just slides out, okay? Now, I don't know how well you can see this, but you can see the, the door lock is absolutely mangled. Um, burnt, to a sh burnt to a crisp. Um, not very safe, obviously. But um, you see your numbers here as well. I'll tell you why I'm showing you them now in a minute. Four, three, and two, okay? So that is the end result of the, the, the problem with the machine. So what I do... Um, now you can also order just a full wiring and connect it to your door lock and run it back to your PCB board and I think it heads off as well to the, uh, the pump. Um, what I do is I just, because I have all machines here in the workshop, I just take off uh, a plug off another old machine, okay? And um, I just join the wiring. I just join this onto the wiring. I'll show you how I do that now in a second. And I have another door lock off a machine that's in that's uh that's that's perfect um it's obviously not burnt out or anything like that so i'll be putting this on as well okay so what you'll need to be ordering is a door lock right make sure it's the right door lock you're getting for your machine obviously and um if you can get wiring off an old hot point or in the set of creda 
if not maybe you just have to buy the actual um wire going from the door lock back to the board and the pump okay so what i'm going to do next is uh this is where the numbers come in 432 okay same on the new lock 432 so i'm just going to mark the wires okay um to make sure they go back into the into the right place again after okay so i'm going to grab my marker and i'm going to this is the way i do it some people some people do things different okay so the first wire here is going is this fella here so i'm going to do four marks on that because the number four one two three four the next one is three which is the second brown one three marks i put down then one two three and lastly obviously two 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 marks one two okay so now i can take out the door lock okay it's absolutely burned to a crisp look at the state of that thing anyway um okay so now i have my wires marked okay i'm going to um cut cut the wires okay um i'll take this off actually i don't even need to cut them because they're bloody burnt they'll pull out okay like that desperate anyway so these are my these are my this is number four this is number three and this is number two okay so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to pair this back um this wire here because it's all burnt out so i'm actually going to put in four new marks up a bit higher so they don't rub off one two three four and i know this is three here the second brown one one two three and obviously two then for the red wire one two okay so what i'm going to do now is again make sure to god that the machine was plugged out cut the wire back here take off the burnt bits cut it here and cut it here okay now next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to about i suppose all you really need is probably half an inch and peel it back okay take off the um take off the the, the wire coating so it reveals the it reveals the the copper this this is my spare pliers the other one is in my shed at home that i forgot to take back i had i was using it on uh saturday on saturday yeah and i forgot to put it back into the van so this is just an old one i have but look we'll we'll um we'll use it for the time being so peel that back maybe an inch or half an inch even even half an inch will do you um okay okay that's the second one and we'll just do the third fill here now okay it's not great is it this players but look it'll have to do okay there we go okay so now i've i've um I've revealed three wires. They're uh, exposed here, okay? So next thing I'm going to do is I purchased um, electrical connectors, okay? So I'm just gonna open that up here now and um, um, use three of them, okay? Okay, so we need three of them. So here we go, sorry, three of them. So we just break that off there, okay? Try that again. There we go, three of them, okay? So what I'm going to do now is get grab your little flathead screwdriver. Um, again, and we're going to open these up. You get these in any electrical shop. They're only like a couple of euros, a euro or two or something. Um, open these up. This is where your wiring wires will be going in. Okay. Just open them up that the wire has enough room to fit in. Open them both sides because you'll be using both sides. Okay. Yeah, that's loads same on all on all three connector connectors okay? okay probably is easier to order the um the complete wire because you just run it from the board to the um to the uh, door lock and i think it goes off to the pump as well but this is the way i do it um Probably saves me a couple of euro on buying the wire. It does the same thing anyway, you know. So, so that, that that's the, the both sides now loosened off. Okay, actually, there's one more here I didn't see. Just loosen that off as well. Perfect. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is put the wires in line. So number four first, which is this fella. This one here. Okay, we'll put that in here okay like so and tighten up your tighten up your little um screw so that stays in place uh, 
number four, okay? So then we do the number three, which is obviously the next one. Okay, we'll, uh, you can just bend that back a bit. It doesn't need to be all that long. Okay. It's number three anyway, okay? We'll put that in there like so. Sits in lovely and snug. Tighten that up. Sure they're good and tight and they're they're held in place okay so that was good and tight and that's good and tight and obviously we're doing the red light now next okay which is number uh two so okay put that in there like so but that might be a bit long again we can just fold it over like so tighten that up obviously as well Okay, put that screw back in there that I went missing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take get the um, the little um, plug that I took off an old hot point that <coughs> the wiring was no longer needed. Um, I just grabbed that there. Oh, wherever I'm after putting it is in another thing. There we go. Yeah. So I'm just going to strip the wires back here on this one as well. Okay. So that's what we'll do next. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. That was a bit easier. Okay, so we'll put the red to the red first. Okay. Try and maybe get that a bit smaller, tighter, fold it over maybe. Perfect. Okay, red to red. Right. So, and she pops. Tighten that fill up. Okay, that's good and tight. Next flat is the one next to that, which is number uh, three. Okay, fold that fill over again. If it's a bit long the wire, you can just fold it over and squeeze it. It'll, um, it'll go into, the, into its little uh, slot still, no problem at all. Totally tighten there. Beautiful. Okay. Just let's grow off a little bit more. You have to take this off down a bit of the, that other wire in a little bit fair so we're just going to loosen that off and just to make a bit of room for this fella okay small bit out of it that's it i'll try that again Try that anyway and see what It's a bit long. I'm just going to take a little bit off that. Okay, I can add it a bit long. Okay, just one more. Okay, perfect. So we put that fill in next. It's number three. Better. Tighten that up. Good and tight. That's good and tight. They're all good and tight. Okay, so no, just the final wire. I'm going to take a little bit off that too. It might be. I might have shred. Um, peel the back a little bit too much. Okay. No. That's 
good enough. Right there, actually. Just a little, two little hairs, as I call it. Right, I'm going to put this fill in next. When you have this done, we'll be insulating, putting insulating tape around it that it doesn't, um, that there's no wires exposed at all. There won't be anyway, but can never be too safe. Okay. Tighten this lead up. Perfect, okay. So that's the tree of men now, okay. So I'm just gonna grab some insulation tape next. Okay, and we'll um we'll tape them fillers up. Where is the start? Here we go. Okay, we just taped the whole lot up here, the, the 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 electrical block, the connector. Okay. Slightly. Make sure all the wires are covered. Again, of course it should be replaced or hot point or in the set or creator should come out and do this repair but as i said people are having zero satisfaction unfortunately so what they are doing is um and actually whirlpool took over hot point so i think it's whirlpool's issue now so i'd say they were sorry they ever took over because they have to uh, well they're supposed to sort out the issues anyway okay so look that's taped up there okay this is your new lock here Compared to the old one, which was absolutely burnt to a crisp. Okay, we'll put in our electrical connector. Okay, the way around. Beautiful. Okay, just put this in here. Okay, now your door lock goes back in again, and you'll be putting the left hand side in here first. Okay, so and line up the see like that, and line up the two tabs again. So you'd hear them click into place. One, two. Okay, now your door seal, just peel it back over the lip. This lip here, you'll be peeling the edge here in over the lip that sits in nice and snug. Okay. Make sure it is, uh, it is in all the way around because you don't want it leaking afterwards, of course not. Okay, that's it. And next thing you'll be just putting back on your spring, okay? There's good stretch on these springs, which is good. Sometimes you need a flatter screwdriver to, 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 um, to stretch them out, to pull them down over the, the rubber, but this, this you can just do by hand, it's very simple. It's a good stretch now. Okay, like so. That's it. So, we'll just try that now, okay? I'm just gonna close this door here. Okay, we'll plug it back in again. Okay, now I'm just gonna put it to a spin. It wasn't locking and it was red light flashing. So look, that's it, spin actually already. So we'll just start to see if does she lock. Okay. There you hear it clicking, locking. You hear the pump kicking next. That's even straight to spin here, which is uh, which is fine too. It will start pumping in a second. So yeah, that's it. Um, the door lock is replaced and repaired now. Um, so hopefully someone gets a year or two out of it. It's a good machine. It's a nine kg with a good energy rating. Um, so that's the video anyway, guys. I hope you have success in repairing your own machine. Um, again, try and get it done by the manufacturers, but. As I said, people aren't getting much satisfaction. So look, if if all else fails, that's the way I repair them. You might fancy you might fancy joining wires and stuff. So, um, so you could just buy the, the actual wiring loom, and uh, obviously the door lock as well. Anyway, that's it. Sorry, I went on a bit long, but uh, I just wanted to do it right and show you how to do it right. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you have a successful repair. Um, I would love if you could subscribe to my channel as it's growing slowly but we're uh, we're over 300 subs which is good and um, yeah if you could sub I'd really appreciate it please um, thank you so much again have a good day um, be careful make sure everything's plugged out and uh, thanks so much for, our, for watching thank you have a good day